Do you want to create an online course but have no idea how to take everything that you know and put it into a course format? Hey, I'm Demelza Marie and I'm here to help course creators leverage video to boost the quality and credibility of their content and brand. And today we're going to be talking more about the course creation process and I'm going to show you how you can take what you know and turn it into an online course. Now the first thing is to think about who your ideal customer is and you really want to be specific. Um, so I encourage you to um, check out the student avatar worksheet which you can um, access in the link below. Um, but you really want to dial this in because this is the foundation for the rest of your course. Um, if you don't get this right, the rest of the course is not, and, and all your marketing is just not going to work out the way that um, you would hope it to. So for example, my avatar is an online course creator who is wanting to become the recognized expert in their space. And to do that, they want to have more professional looking videos. They want videos that back up the credibility of their content and the brand and their professionalism. So my messaging and my course and everything that I have in terms of the videos on this channel, for example, is going to be geared towards helping that avatar, that person, maybe it's you, um, to achieve that result in their lives. So you want to think about who your ideal person is. Um, in my case, for example, I'm not going to be doing um, drone videos and teaching you how to use drones because most likely you as a course creator, you're not going to be using drones, right? So there's no point in me teaching everything about video. I'm only going to be teaching you the things that you are mo most likely to need to know as a course creator. So if you already know who your ideal customer is, let me know in the comments section below and I'd love to check those out. Uh, but I encourage you as well to do your research. Um, what are your customers asking about your topic? Uh, these are going to be the key things that you'll want to include in your course because they're asking those questions. So if you can um, answer those, you know, bring a solution to those questions in your course, then they are more likely to go ahead and actually buy it. So now that you've done your research, you want to determine where are they at right now and what do they want to achieve? So what are the key steps that they're going to be taking on their journey from where they're at right now to where they want to be? Um, think about that and then use the first part of that journey as your freebies and early offers to draw your audience into your world and um, enable them to trust you about what you can offer for them. And then the rest of the content will actually be your paid offer, your course. Now you don't want to teach everything you know because that's not going to actually help them get results. However, sometimes it can actually be helpful to do a brain dump of everything you know to start with so that you know what you're working with. Now once you've dumped all your ideas out there, you want to remove anything that your avatar doesn't need to know to get them from A to B and then what's left will be your content. Um, and just a quick tip, if you do want to include some of the things that you've removed, you could actually add these as bonuses. So they still get that information but it's not part of the course material itself. So now you have your outline, but there are a couple more things that you definitely want to consider. But first of all, if you are creating an online course and would like to know more about how you can go from being the unheard course creator to the recognized expert in your space, be sure to go ahead and check out the link in the description below for more information. Okay, so now that you have your outline, you want to look at each of your lessons and determine what is the best way for those lessons to be produced. So for example, it might be talking head or a demo, slideshow, screen share, uh, you on screen, um, or a screen share with a voiceover. So any of those kind of things, these are ways that you can actually present your material. So go through the content that you've just put on there in your Trello board um, and think about what is the best way that you can deliver that um, in terms of the best experience that your student is gonna get. I do recommend that you do show your face for at least some of your course because this helps build connection with your students. And if nothing else, record a welcome and summary video. Um, it would be even better if you did a welcome and summary video for each of your modules, um, not just the entire course, but you know, at least do something so that your students can actually see your face and actually um, have some kind of connection with you as a person. And finally, the purpose of your course is to get your students results. They are taking your course for the purpose of some kind of transformation. So you want to make it as easy as possible for them to achieve that transformation. Because if they get results, then you get stories and then your stories can help sell more courses. So it's a win-win for everybody. Um, so include assets such as PDFs, templates, swipe files, diagrams, extra tutorials, charts, cheat sheets, 
um, recipes, whatever is going to help them achieve the results faster, those are the things you want to include as well. Okay, so in the next video, I'm covering how to write a video script for your course lessons. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button if you haven't already, so that you get notified when that gets released. And if you found this helpful, please hit the like button and stick around to watch more videos to help you become the recognized expert in your space. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch up with you in the next video.